How to Knit Snowballs on Your Centro 22 Needle Knitting Machine. Using my 22 needle knitting machine, this is the 22 pin, I'm going to be using some Big Twist Shine yarn that I have here and I'm also going to use an inner shell color. I'm going to use some polyfill, a darning needle, and a pair of scissors. Starting off with the inner shells, I'm going to cast on, no scrap yarn is needed for this project. So I'm going to cast on as normal. I'm going to be knitting 20 rows. Grabbing my darning needle, I'm going to cast off. Again, no scrap yarn is needed for this project. I'm going to set that aside and depending on how many you're making, I like to set this up like an assembly line. So I like to get all the inner parts done first, then I'll move on to the outer part and then I'll move on to the next step. That's just how I like to work. Again, 20 rows. I have the inner parts and I have the outer part lining. Again, like an assembly line, I'm going to, they look like little tiny hats. <laughs> I'm just going to pull together the top portion of each one to close so I can fill it with the polyfill. Just grabbing my darning needle again, just to secure the ends.
grabbing some polyfill. Don't take too much at a time. You just want to start stuffing these. I like to have the inner lining because I don't like to see the stuffing come out of the snowball. So I found if I do this, it just makes the snowball look a lot cleaner and much prettier. So once you have it filled to however big you want to make these, now if you want to make larger snowballs, just add more rows. So I'm just stuffing the inner portion of the snowball here and I have a link in the description of the huge bag of polyfill that I buy. <laughs> it's like it never runs out. You just keep pulling it out. I've done so many projects with it. You want to make sure you line up where you have the ends coming out. You see I fix this here. It just makes it a little bit easier to pull the two ends together. So you can tie it and then I'll just hide the yarn within the snowball so it's nice and clean. Now if you wanted to use this as ornaments to hang, you can totally leave this part unless you're going to use some kind of different device to hang your snowballs. So I just stick it in, pull it out through the other side, trim off the excess, and then that piece just hides within the snowball. They're so fun. <laughs> Cute little snowball. Oh, I have a little tutorial coming out for that little cute ornament hat that I made, a little Santa hat. And I'm just going to finish the second one, and there you go. A quick and easy tutorial on how to make snowballs. Again, you can make these different sizes for different projects.